Hey yo everybody, Haku here with My Tower of God Chapter 285, that'd be Season 2, Episode 205, Live Reaction. So, first thing on Monday morning, and today is July 4th, so to any of my American viewers, don't know how many there are, um, happy Independence Day. Three days ago I missed Canada Day for my Canadian viewers, so uh, late happy Canada Day too. Um, but yeah, uh, the thumbnail for this chapter, I saw Inietta, so I'm assuming this will be pretty good. And it looks like first panel, this we got Rack. So, okay, let's get into it. Looks like we see um, Bong Bong, which is probably carrying Zha Zha, Kun, Bomb, and Andrasi right now, flying above in the sky. And we see the uh, group carrying Rack, and that's actually a really detailed panel. <clears throat> that looks really nice. What, what's that, he says. Sorry, my voice is still a bit scratchy, just waking up and all. Oh, what's this? I definitely came here because I... I came here because I definitely heard that a FUG Slayer candidate is here. But that Slayer candidate... Hmm. So, Inietta and Rack? What? Yo, is an alligator? Yo, that's... Inietta looks pretty cool. His... Unless that's just the way it's shaded, his skin is like way darker than Joaquin and his siblings and uh, Arie Hone. But he has the white hair and the white eyes. Yo. 39th floor, the Hell Train, the Name Hunt Station 8. I'm loving this arc so much so far. Swoosh. Ksh, the Named Residence. Okay, awesome. And the Bong Bong group shows up with, um, shows up where Hatsu and Ship are. Really cool panel again, of everybody landing. You've come, guys, says our ship. Bomb, Coon, how long has it been? <laughs> Still, didn't expect to see you this soon. I thought we would meet at least after the train had ended. I'm so happy to see you. Shibisu, you. And then Coon said, clenching his fist, you're dead, and he starts running after him. Ah, ship is running away, help. So... Andrasi fell into Kaiser's trap and got her name stolen. And you used Viol to get Andrasi and Kaiser to have a second battle, says Kuhn. Well, basically, <laughs> and Schiff has a swollen forehead where he got hit. Well, basically, although we didn't know whether Kaiser would accept the fight. But we have our ways even if Kaiser doesn't accept it. If we force our way in there with Viol and the no-named at the head, the ten bosses would ultimately have no choice but to come out. Even if we wouldn't be able to get all the bosses, Viol can get Kaiser and give the name to Andrasi. Have you guys thought about what kind of consequences this will have? Viol reappearing at a station related to the ten families? I know, it'll definitely be an issue. We feel, we really feel bad about that too, but... Excuse me, says Andrasi. It feels like this is turning into a long story. Can I take away Bomb? No, says <laughs> Kuhn. Just no, period. No, how can I leave Bomb with a dangerous woman like you? This is all because you fell into Kaiser's trap to begin with. At least show some remorse. Shut up, what's the big deal with me taking him anyway? And then she hits Kuhn. I thought you would be depressed after losing to Kaiser. But you still do as you please, Princess. With that personality of yours, this kind of stuff will keep happening. Try to be careful. There have been more cases than you think of princesses from normal families getting killed unnoticed. Since a princess from a normal family becoming a ranker means that a new power will soon be born. There are tons of guys who will try to get rid of them because they don't want to see that happen. I know, but that's why Andrasi must get her name back from Kaiser, says Ship. If people find out about this, the families will order her to step down from her position as a princess. Leaving her position as a princess basically means death. You know that, right? I know. Her fate was decided from the moment that she inherited Zahard's blood. But things are a bit complicated this time. I would like to help if possible, but actually, we also need Kaiser's name. What? Sishup. <laughs> we got on the hell train and met Rachel and we found out that she's on her way to the floor of death. We have to get Kaiser's name and return to the train to go after Rachel. Okay, so basically just letting both sides know what's gone on while they've been separated. 
So right now, we're not companions, we're competitors. Kuhn, I thought you were supposed to be smart. You're obviously companions, you can just take the name yourself. Andrasi doesn't need Kaiser's name, she only needs her own name. So, this... Kuhn, you're being dumb. Okay, Rack steps down. Who are you, you white-haired turtle? Where did you sur suddenly come from? White-haired turtle? He, he, he is... We had better avoid that guy, Sir Real Monster. <laughs> what? That guy is Inietta, one of the ten bosses. We might have a chance against the other bosses, but that guy... The ten bosses? <laughs> and then Inietta starts laughing. Yeah, I'm one of the ten bosses. Adie Inietta. I didn't think one of the no-named would know me. I'm liking Inietta. Hmm, well then. I'll just have to... Catch that puny turtle, says Rack. Haha, <laughs> puny. I didn't think I'd hear that from an animal smaller than me. That's hilarious. You really are an amusing alligator. Huh? Judging by the look of you, you don't seem to be Juvial Grace. Still, you seem like you're on his team. And you also look rather fun. How about I catch you and make you my pet? What? says Rack angrily. Hey, you guys, just get lost and don't get in the way. I'm gonna hunt him myself. N no you may be the real monster, but that guy is known as the strongest of the ten bosses. Shut up, I don't want you getting in my way. I'm glad he's the strongest, because so am I. I'll hunt him, so you guys can just go if you want to run away. S Sir Monster, yes. Okay, I'm liking Rack vs. Inietta. Fighting all by yourself for our sake, Th then good luck. Beat him, real monster! What are these crazy turtles talking about? <laughs> Giving up the advantage in numbers that you had, says Inietta. I don't think you realize who you're up against. Still, he says, drawing his sword, it's fun facing off against guys like you. No one who says they enjoy fighting is ever dignified before death. I enjoy seeing them struggle and beg for their lives. Enough chatter, turtle. Just shut up and charge. As you wish, and he had a rape face. <laughs> uh, and they both rush at each other, sword on spear. Awesome. Man, I like the art style of that panel. And we got some close combat fighting between Inietta and Rack. Aw oh, man, that's so cool, the sword clashing against Mad Shocker. And then going towards Rack's face. His swords disappeared, then reappeared. Is this the swordsmanship of the monster turtle? Yep. Have you heard, Iwa? Oh, Danwa and Iwa. Pardon? Most of the no-named here came here because of unfair circumstances and ended up getting trapped here. There's definitely something unnatural about this. I'm, no I'm not sure what someone from the Ten Families would think about it, but this place cleans up messes for the families. You don't have to worry just because I'm from one of the ten families, says Yiwa, because I think that facing the truth properly is the right thing to do. You really are a, a remarkable person, Yiwa. There's something different about you from the other children of the ten families who I've met. There's nothing special about me. I've just gotten involved with an unusual man and had several experiences. I'm more impressed that you're going all the way to the floor of death just to save a girl you only met briefly. Is there some kind of particular reason? A reason. Yo, I'm liking Danwa and this Danwa stuff. Protecting woman is the knight's duty that I received from this sword. I'm simply trying my best to accomplish that duty. Of course, there's another reason for going after Yura. And then they see the explosion in the background. An explosion! That's where the alligator is! Yuax rack for life. <laughs> I'll go check it out! And Yuax runs off. I'll go with her, says Danwa. Oh, so maybe... Will we get Danwa versus Inietta? Huh, stop right there, both of you, says Boro, when we see uh, Boro, Irudo, and Sachi looking. It's okay, I have an ignition weapon. Hey! And Danwa ends up running off. Yo, if we get Danwa in a sword fight against Inietta, I actually, I actually really want to see that. We got blood dripping. Yo, and Rack got cut across the face. Turtle. <laughs> Just turtle. You dodged that. Very impressive. Yo, Inietta hype. Are you a monster too? I see. 
So you missed Rachel in the train again. And we're back to Andrasi. I can't believe you're still running after her. You've sure been through a lot. My hair gets tussled when I ride Bong Bong. Both you and Rachel look kind of weird to my eyes, though. <laughs> and then Bong just laughs. She looks back at him. Yo, that's a pretty high detail panel, too. Lots of high detail panels this chapter. So, how did it feel, fighting with Kaiser? What? Says <laughs> Bob. <laughs> yeah, again, just, what? It was only for a moment, so I'm not sure. Kaiser's definitely strong, but didn't seem like someone I couldn't beat. Is it true that you've lost to Kaiser, Andrasi? It's true. That day, I went to the gallery by myself to fight Kaiser, but I lost the battle and got my name stolen. But don't get me wrong, there was no difference in our abilities. I just was not aware of the power Kaiser had. I wouldn't expect Kaiser would have such abilities. Abilities? Yes, abilities. <laughs> Since that ability of Kaiser's is almost unbeatable here. What? What kind of abilities are they? That's a secret. <laughs> I'll tell you when you promise you're going to help me. Ah. Plus, there's another secret about Kaiser. What? Kaiser told me this in person. The thing is, Kaiser is from one of the ten families and was going to be a princess of Zahard. What? But for some reason, the plan was cancelled and Kaiser came here a thousand years ago. What did happen? Well, I don't know what happened. I don't even want to know about Kaiser's past. What's important is that I have to steal Kaiser's name. So, what do you think, Bomb? She says, crawling up onto the bed with him. Would you be my servant, my servant and come with me to steal Kaiser's name tomorrow night? I, I don't think I can do that, Andrasi. Hmm? Actually, I need Kaiser's name too. What? <laughs> That's why I don't think I'll be able to let you have it. We were rivals, says Ship, switching back to Ship and Coon. Yes, since both of us need Kaiser's name, we are rivals competing over the name. We won't yield, even if you ask. We cannot go after Rachel if we don't get Kaiser's name. Now I'm starting to see why Princess Yuri sent us here. You must be kidding, Coon. Andrasi can die if she doesn't get Kaiser's name. I know, it's a shame, but you guys asked for this trouble yourselves. I mean, I guess so, but can you please give it a second thought? No. Crap, this isn't good. Only Viol can defeat Kaiser. If things turn out this way, then everything we've prepared is... Kuhn, please, going to help them. You wanted Bomb's... You wanted to use Bomb's name ship? Well, too bad. You, seriously. Now, I'm done talking. As rivals, let's have a fair competition. Hey, Coon, come back. I was I was wrong to mess with Bomb. I'll give you the wig. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Says Hatsu standing in his way. The fair competition. Did it not just start? If you want to leave here, he says drawing a sword, you have to defeat us first. Yo, so... Agaro versus Hatsu. And of course, this is like way back in volume one when the two of them were arguing. Again, I really don't see the purpose since Andrasi doesn't really need Kaiser's name, just her own name. So, um, yeah, I don't really see the point. Like somebody said earlier, Bomb could just steal Kaiser's name and give Andrasi's name to her. And that's it. So thank you once again for watching this video and I will see you all next time.